Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Sean here, and I'm going to take you on a journey of wonderment and wonderfulness, and you're going to love it. Uh, we're going to start. Yeah, you like this? See how organized I am? So um, this is from Fayette 212, Warhammer 40K News and Rumors. And uh, so this is a really good site for rumors. Uh, you see a lot of their stuff repeated elsewhere. And um, uh, so Chaos Space Marines are supposed to be coming out soon. You can hear a lot of different things. It's kind of flying all over the place. Uh, I'm going to read some stuff verbatim, but also add my own uh, unique perspective and insight. And I'm going to try and not say uh and er so much because that is one of my goals to present myself a lot better. So Space Chaos, Chaos Case Marines, Chaos Space Marines Codex, a massive compilation. So let's read more. Uh, we zip right on over here. So um, he says, first off, let's get this over with. There have been three rumor sets that I've received that are fabricated. I had posted them within the last 24 or so hours. I'm not saying that the sender of the emails is making them up. He was using his real name in the emails, probably by accident. But if it was not him, it was the guy giving him information. All three posts are marked in red. There was also someone using an anonymous account in the comments section to validate his rumors, in essence using the comments section to validate himself. Since I do not deal with drama or like to feed the trolls any more than necessary, there is no reason to pursue it any for further. Amen, brother. Uh, you just got to uh, not let the trolls get to you and... Uh, just move on with your life. Lucky for us, we have some friends somewhere that were able to help protect us from the trolls. So a huge thanks goes out to him, her, for their concern that rumors not get out of hand and help keep us on track. Please, please do not diss the source of the previous incorrect rumors in the comments section. Here's the corrected rumor bit and some real information to sit on to get us back on track. Once again, a huge thank to the source of the rumor below for helping us get back some juicy bits for the upcoming Chaos Space Marine Codex. So, uh, supposedly Chaos Space Marine should be out already. That was the rumor. And uh, obviously they're not. I also might point out that Games Workshop has become a lot more closed and I would say in the world of corporate espionage and uh, intrigue that I wouldn't put it past them to actually start fake rumors just to keep people interested, but at the same time, not give any information away. So here they go, uh, via a must remain anonymous source, Dragon Flyer. Now that's not the name of it. For a while now, there's been supposedly a flyer to come out for the Chaos Space Marines that is uh, has some kind of dragon theme to it. And quite frankly, so it's what's interesting is uh, if they come out with a plastic kit for something that's already out through Forge World, uh, I'm thinking of the Hell Talon and the Hell Blade. In fact, why don't we just zip right on over to Forge World and so here we go. Uh, let's look for Hell Talon. Uh, one of them is the bigger one. Yeah, the Hell Talon is the bigger one. So uh, let's let's take a look at this guy. This is actually this model is probably 12 inches long. It's this giant uh, it's this giant bomber, and it is really really a neat model. It's extremely well done. Or is this the small one? I can't I can't. Uh, so all right, you know it's it's the Hellblade that's the small one. Isn't that amazing? Look at look at that figure. That is really neat. So that's the uh, Hell Talon. So let's look up uh, Hellblade. See if we get anything. Oh no, it's two words. Hellblade. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this this is the smaller one. And uh, look at that. This is probably six or eight inches long, but it's 50, 50 pounds. And you're talking about a dollar and a half per pound. So this this is seventy five dollars for this figure. Of course, uh, now that's generally what stuff is costing, like fifty or sixty bucks uh, U.S. So uh, let's just take a look at cockpit on this get a closer up oh isn't that a gorgeous fig but the thing is if they if they make rules for these then people won't buy the new thing basically and uh, you know games workshop is so sometimes criticized because 
they, they just want people to buy things. Oh, they just want you to buy new things. Yeah, yeah, they do. They want to feed their families and make a profit and go forward in life. So I say good on them. And they're also making our lives interesting. And they're putting out new stuff, which is amazing. So, uh, okay, so uh, the Dragon Flyer is 12, 12, 10, which is pretty heavily armored for a flyer. Flyers are usually 10 or 11 armor all around. Um, yeah, I'm not doing very good with no errs or ums, so I'm just going to roll with it. All right, so I had to step out for a second there. Uh, the Dragon Flyer has two Butcher Cannons, Ballista Skill 3, Immune to Shake and Stun, can be locked, Velocity is normal. Flyer only, no hover skimmer mode. Can vector strike at strength 10. Strafing run. Because this might be misinterpreted, I'm going to be really clear. It does not have two firing profiles. It has two butcher cannons. And uh, we don't know what strength those are. It is ballista skill 4 against ground targets because of strafing run. Go read it. It's a universal special rule for details. Oh, that's cool. Uh, just want to point out with flyers. Flyers are a thing. And that means that you're going to see every army have possibly one, uh, definitely one, possibly two different flyer choices. And we saw the Bama for the Orcs. I'm not sure what the rules are for that. Maybe somebody can tell me. That would be great. Certainly not in the uh, Orc Codex. It was in a White Dwarf. That would make sense. Okay, on with the Chaos Space Marine rumors. Terminators can be upgraded to Chosen, getting plus one weapon skill, which is five. Plus one wound, two, and fearless. They can take marks on top of that. It gets expensive. Sounds like anti-paladins to me. That makes me happy. Interestingly enough, when upgraded, they are troops if you take a baton, yet normal terminators are elites. There are no chaos storm shields. Apparently that was a rumor. The best you can get is mark of zinch upgrade. You're five plus invulnerable to a four plus. That ain't not bad, by the way, folks. And it makes me wonder if there will be characters as well, like uh, paladins. Are. I don't think normal Terminators are characters, though. There's a piece of Chaos War Gear that gives a 4 plus invulnerable, but it is not a Storm Shield. It can just be added for characters. Yes, it upgrades via Mark of Zinch to 3 plus. No, it's not available to Sorcerers. Again, uh, this is these rumors are uh, minorly suspect. Right now, we just don't know when stuff is going to be coming out. Uh, Vindicator is unchanged, but can take Demonic Possession. No melt of any kind. I don't know why Vindicator rumors are even on here. They're not that exciting. Um, hold on just a second. Uh, as for essentially indirect fire mechanism, that's made up. As for demonic possession, changing the weapon profile for one shot. You know what? This is just, this is, this is pretty thin for rumors for a huge army that's supposedly coming out soon. So uh, if Games Workshop's trying to play it close to the vest, they're doing a good job. Personally, I think this is an absolutely rotten strategy and I think that it's not gonna do them well so let's go look at something else ooh cyborg oh yeah now I did a specialty report on this on my website uh, cyborg I'm 98% uh, sure is from Poland but they have pretty good distribution here in the US uh, I'm not sure who carries them maybe somebody can enlighten me uh, but I see their stuff all the time it doesn't seem like that hard to get and uh, you'll notice their pricing is in euros. Um, again, uh, it's really easy on Google to do a transfer, excuse me, not a transfer, but a, uh, you know, find out how, how many dollars to the euro. What are those bear riders? One thing is I wish this didn't flash by so quickly um, and it's not clickable. So uh, I guess, you know, all right, that's fine. Chaos snails, come on, give it up. So anyway, uh, this is called a Torin mech suit. And uh, I think this thing is really, really super. Let's just take a closer look here. Um, again, this is something we uh, showed on our channel. James is uh, making one of these into a Thousand Suns deal. So it comes with this head, which is really cool. It comes with a flat hatch head and a guy inside. Uh, quite frankly, uh, it, this, this uh, hatch head is really flat and seems inconsistent with all the stuff on it which has like filigree and whatnot so uh, this head up here actually makes a lot more sense to me and boy I can just hear the clank clank of this thing striding across the battlefield so Cyborg does uh, bases uh, which are more they're not that utilitarian 
they are more like for just, I mean they're just so fancy I mean it's just it's almost like too much to put an army on these not criticizing them I, I think they're absolutely fantastic I uh, just think it's a lot personally I like secret weapon as you know uh, secret weapon puts out some good stuff in fact let's uh, let's just jet over to www.secret weapon miniatures.com and uh, take a look at some of his stuff welcome guest I want to look at bases uh, so they do, they do beveled bases which are suitable for uh, 40k uh, they don't do any square bases but look at all these different types of bases that they have that's just absolutely fantastic so uh, my favorites are um, flight deck in fact let's uh, let's take a look at flight deck here um, they are uh, these are these are sci-fi so uh, these are these are really super okay so here's that um, in fact let's let's go back and just look at the uh, bone fields that's my other favorite one in fact we're doing a clients army in this uh, Justin from secret weapon gave us a bunch of these and a client stepped forward and said hey put them on mine and they're just really fantastic they have these ellipsed edges they are so well sculpted uh, they're they have the gamer in mind they have like flat spots to put your guys feet on uh, which is something some of the fancier bases don't always have and they just are so amazingly detailed that it makes me happy okay so uh, really you know rumors rumors are pretty thin these days uh, you go on Warseer you just got more Eldar stuff Dark Angel stuff really uh, and nothing nothing um, nothing really um, flies out oh end of 40k files for army builder I don't know I don't know about that army builder is pretty flipping awesome so uh, but let's let's take a look here and see what's uh, what's going on so it says see here for prelude and watch this space okay I have no idea what I'm about to get Lone Wolf Development. A few days ago, we learned that Data File Central, a hosting site for ARM, Bill and Files, and Notify Games Workshop, that all GW related files need to be taken down. This is unexpected as I've been offering many years without so complaint from Games Workshop. The AB users are managed sites and forums about this over the weekend, and he said he has no choice but to comply with GW's demands. Uh, so, yeah, you know, that's always a toughie because uh, the, the toughie is how stringently to enforce copyright laws and quite frankly copyright is just brutal you can ruin somebody's life over copyright and that's why uh, I really um, have to uh, commend chapter house for uh, at the very minimum brass balls and taking GW to the mat so good for them I have nothing but good wishes for those guys uh, but you know there's always there's two sides to a story and I'm not talking about the chapter house thing anymore I'm just talking about copyright in general. Uh, I think that the I think that the new thing that's going to have to happen is companies are going to have to provide their product better, have better product and distribution, and um, you know compete compete that way, uh, like you know shoes basically. So uh, all right, off we go. That was a little uh, nebulous, I guess potential end of whatever. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to leave off my uh, rumors section. Oh, by the way, on Warseer, do not click. These 28 millimeter beauties may not be safe for work. Yeah, that's probably a bit of an over-exaggeration. I do want to jet over here to Raging Heroes for a second. This is RagingHeroes.com. They have, uh, yeah, I, wanted, I want to go to there. They have these uh, absolutely fantastic sculpts. They have uh, these uh, like dark elf maidens here, which are really neat. Um, these uh, mantis warriors, which are these uh, demonic sort of hoofed gals, and uh, those are really those are really super cool. Um, down here, you've got um, uh, some hero types, and quite frankly, I think they're cool. Uh, it makes me want to make a dark eldar army out of these so you should definitely get in touch with us if this is interesting to you uh, they are between 25 and 30 dollars us for a kit like this they're sold in euros uh, so they are um, 
they, they are they are pretty expensive. They're in line with uh, with Forge World prices. Typically, uh, Games Workshop plastics are about three dollars. And uh, oh, here is Sci-Fi Blood Vestals. Look at those. You know, those would make great something of uh, Death Cult Assassins. Are you kidding me? Those would be fantastic. Look at this hero over here. Can I just tell you, I can't get enough of miniatures. I want them all the time. They make me happy inside. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, so Raging Heroes Girls, things. All right, uh, that, is, that is it for show and tell today, folks. I hope uh, you have uh, gotten your inspiration for the day. Actually, what, what was possibly inspirational about this? About this, uh, about this cast, uh, I would uh, just finally like to say that Blue Table Painting is the best miniature painting studio in the world. We have an absolutely fantastic support staff. We are spoiling our clients rotten, and with a great turnaround, organization, and uh, uh, did I mention support staff? All right, well, uh, that's all I have to say about that. By all means, get in touch with us if you want to uh, if you want to have an army done or a single figure. Uh, the answer is yes, we do all the way down to a single figure. You can have your army done in parts. You can have it done un unit by unit, all the way up to a special that we're currently running uh, with limited availability called uh, 10,000 points in 10 days. Uh, the challenge is from the time the models arrive, to the time you have pictures up is 10 days. We bring the appropriate amount of manpower to bear on your project. It's not rushed. It has uh, the, uh, all of the fail safes in place to make sure it's been up to par and according to your instructions. And if we fail to do it in 10 days, you get it for half off. And that is, that is a pretty, you're talking thousands of dollars if, uh, if we don't uh, do it. And right now we're uh, working uh, really, really super hard on all of our clients' projects. And we are dedicated. We have a front desk phone that is answered. And isn't that absolutely lovely? We are bringing order to what was, uh, in years past, the chaos of the miniatures painting industry. Well, this is Sean Gately signing off. Uh, I give you all a great word of encouragement. Keep your chin up and uh, life uh, only gets better.